Hello guys, um, I have one of my subscribers, I th he is a beginner, he has um, another broker, not my broker, and he told me, uh, how can I do this stop loss, I don't find it in my broker, I told him what, you don't find stop loss, and how are you trading, he sent me an email, he said okay, the, I just buy, that's it, and I say to him, man, you are going to a catastrophe if you don't stop trading right now and watch my videos or buy my book or just ask me questions, I will help you out. Okay, I'm doing a lot of things. Okay, so why you struggle with a broker that it is so complex? It means his brokers. His brokerage platform is so complex that you don't know um, where to find the stop loss because in the stock when you want to sell a trade or when you want uh, to sell a stock there are many options on how to uh, sell the stock okay and when you want to put a stop loss there are many options you can choose from okay so if you have a simple broker platform it will be very easy for you uh, to find the right uh, option in order to uh, put your stop loss okay now you can't trade without stop loss except when you are doing uh, like investing or another thing investing you should you should wait like the whole year and then you see if you win or you lose so you can't put stop loss just uh, like $20 you put $19 you will exit very quick so you need time this, well, I'm not speaking about investing I'm speaking about swing trading you must put the stop loss and you must call your broker and ask him how here from the screen I want to put stop loss to my uh, stock that I bought please help me if you say we don't help Please sell your stock by market and change and switch to my broker, okay? Because some um, some brokers are destined to those people who are professional, not beginners, okay? Especially those who are what we call full service brokerage firms, okay? They can assist you with the trade when you pay them. For example, you pay them twenty dollars or thirty dollars uh, when you don't want to, when you don't know what to do, how to buy, how to put stop loss, how to sell. Okay, they will help you, but uh, you know you should you should pay for that service. But what I am talking about is a discount broker. It's a v he, most of the discount broker they have a very simple platform. But my broker, I guess in my opinion, has the best because it is so easy. I have made some videos uh, about virtual trading, go and check, put virtual trading in my channel and search, you will find two or three or four uh, trades, how is it so easy to make stop loss, to buy, how is it easy to put stop loss according to my strategy, okay, and this guy is, is, uh, is uh, one of my subscribers, he was struggling with his broker, and I give him solutions, okay? He should ask, he should call his broker and ask him how to put stop loss. If he can make it, it's very good. But stop loss, when you put it, there are many options. You should put the order which is called stop. That's it. Not a limit order. If you put if you put stop loss with limit, what does it mean? It means you want this precise, uh, uh, precise stock price. But sometimes, when the when the stock is going down, it goes so quick and it goes over your your stop loss, and your stop loss is not hit. That's a difficulty. That's why. When you want to do a stop loss, go and search for stop. That's it. Not limit stop. Okay? Search only the word stop. 
and put it. Okay? And then, uh, if, 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 the, if the stock price goes down, your stop loss becomes what you call a market order. You should sell by any time. Because you are losing money, you don't want to lose more. Okay? That is, that's it for, uh, for uh, the people who are struggling. People who see their broker, they don't know. Uh, there, are, there are other problems that I will tell you right now. There are some people who use middleman brokerage firms. They are not, they are not regular discount brokers. Like this, uh, some, someone sent me an email about this 500plus.com. 500plus.com is not a regular broker. It's not a discount broker. It is a middleman between a broker and you. They buy stocks and they sell it to you. Okay? So they are making too much money from these transactions and you, you don't know even what is the real price. Okay? They give you a price of themselves. And you, if you want to... Uh, and they give you a few stocks to choose from. Okay? Because they have those stocks in, uh, in their brokerage firm. Okay? But they are not really brokerage firm. They are middlemen. They have bought uh, maybe thousands or millions of shares of, of many stocks that are very well, well known. For example, they have, for example, uh, whatever, Verizon, uh, Google, Walmart, uh, Costco, any other stocks that you, that you might know, Coca-Cola, and they put their, their tickers and they ask you, choose from this. Okay, why should I choose from... Uh, from uh, the stocks that they, that they put in uh, this. I don't choose from them. I know how to choose from stocks. I have thousands of stocks to choose from my broker or my chart. So I don't need someone to tell me what to buy from a given... Uh, it means he, he asks me to choose from some losers. All are losers. He asks me to choose from them. Okay? And some they ask even, even if you have one hundred dollars, you open an account. What what's this trading that one hundred dollars, two hundred dollars? They want you to rip you off. They want you to steal your money. Uh, and be careful, please. If you have a broker name that you don't know if it's true or not, please send me the name, or you can go uh, to. Uh, Security Exchange Commission SEC.com and search for the broker if it is a real broker or not and see the complaints because some people they complain about about brokers so you should find uh, uh, if the broker is good or bad according to the people who, uh, who traded in that broker okay now as I told you always always don't open an account, a broker account, without knowing if it is a real a broker or not. How do you know? Either you ask me, or you go online and search, you to put Google, to put its name, and say reviews, and it will give you people's reviews if it is good or bad. Okay? Or you can ask the SEC.com, uh, Security Exchange Commission, and they will give you if this... Uh, a broker is uh, uh, is uh, uh, affiliated with with uh, with the SEC or not? Maybe it is just a s scam. You give them your social security number, you give me your your bank's account, you give me you give them all your information, and maybe they are just scam and they and they steal you or they are or rob your bank. Okay, so be careful always where to open an account. And be safe as always. Ask before you do anything. Why well, you should rush? Okay? And uh, uh, you say, oh, this broker asked me only for $100. I can open an account. And he gave me the stocks. And they say the, the stocks are going uh, up. Buy them. What's this crap? <laughs> What's this crap that you are telling me? Okay? So please uh, ask before you do uh, things. Okay? And be safe. If you don't know, don't do the thing. And then ask. Ask before you do a thing. Ask before you, you, uh, you uh, apply for a broker that you don't know. Okay? For me, my broker that always I'm, I'm advertising, 
because I know it for four year for four years right now, and I'm I'm using it, and there is no problem at all. So that's why I am with this broker, not with the other brokers. Okay. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, just ask as usual.